Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. I want to welcome you once again to my lecture series. And today we are going to look at yet another example of solving transposition problem using the Vogel approximation method. Uh, in the Nanella video, we, if you went through with me, I went through all the processes of using this method. It's a little cumbersome, but it's painstaking and it's rewarding for any uh, manager that decides to use um, the method. It will until we identify the difference in the costs of each, for, um, each row and column, identify the highest of these differences, and then use that, the one with the highest difference is what we're going to use as our focal row or column. That's where we'll now apply the volume of supply or demand as the case may be in solving this um, problem. When that row or column has been um, fully satisfied, it will be removed from the table and a, new, and, a, and a new table will be formed and will continue the process until all the um, volumes in the demand and supplies are fully um, exhausted. Let's look at what we have on the board and see how fast we can be in solving this problem. On the board we see we have a uh, an example and then the here will be total of demand okay total of demand remember the demand at abc in this case supply is x supplies are x y and z now what we'll do is that we'll find the difference that's the first thing we'll do the difference in the costs for each row and each column and the difference we're talking about is the list and the next list one so in this case, this is four minus three, that gives us one. This one is also four minus three. Three is the list and we have four. So this will be four minus three, this gives us one. How about here? We have five and seven. So this will be seven minus five, this gives us two. Let's go to this other side and look at the column. Here, we have five and eight. So this will be eight minus five, that gives us three. This is four and four. So four minus four gives us zero. And then we have three and three. So three minus three gives us zero. So from this, what is the um, least cost that we have? The, I mean, the highest of the difference that we have. The highest of the difference we have is, um, can you see that? We have one, one, two, and we have three, zero, zero. So this is the highest of the cost. So this becomes the focal column. What we now do is to look at this and identify the least cost here. The least cost here is five. The least cost here is five. I will now have to proportion volume into this cell. And to do that, we have supply of 100 from X and we have demand of 300 from, from demand from A. So what we do, we fill in the 100 in here. This, this goes off. We have fully uh, taken all the supplies and they were left with 200 here. So this is our initial, initial tableau. All right, so we're going to now have tableau two here. Tableau two. As the case may be in tableau two we are going to we are, we are going to eliminate x and we'll retain y and z and then we have column a b and c so we're going to have a b and uh, c and then we have also y and z so y and z 
becomes the new the only columns that we're well, the rows that we're going to have uh, we have our total here and we also have our total here here we have we have eight and then four where are we getting these values from from here see our row y eight four and three and then the next ones are nine seven and then five our total will be 300 and uh, okay here should be 300 okay here should be 300 so i have 100 three three so i have 700 two i mean um, 300 200 200 will give us so this will be 300 so here we have um, 300 Remember, we have eliminated 100 here, so we're left with this. So this becomes 600, and this will be 200, 200, and 200. Are you following? Thank you. I know you're following. The next thing we'll do is we do our difference. Again, the difference in the cost. In this case, 3 and 4. So we're having... We have a 4 minus 3, gives us 1. How about here? 7 and 5. 5 is this, the next one is 7. So we have 7 minus 5, that gives us 2. The next one is what? 9 and 8. So we have 9 minus 8, it gives us 1. Okay? The next one is what? I have 7 and... 7 and... Um, Four and seven, so seven. Seven minus four will give us three. The next one is five minus three will give us two. So what will be our focal um, point here? The focal, this is one, two, one, three. So this is our focal point. Now we'll identify the smaller of the two costs. And this is the smaller of the two costs, four. Is smaller than seven in this column, so we we fill here. In filling here, we write we fill here with two hundred, which is the demand from B, and is crossed out. We still have an excess of what of one hundred here. So we are going to eliminate column B in the next tableau that we are going to have. We eliminate column B since column B has been fully satisfied here. So let's go up here and do tableau, tableau three, and tableau three is going to have going to have column A and C, then Y and Z. That's what we're going to have: A and C, then Y and Z. Let's come. Let's have A and C, then we have Y and z let's see how far we can go with that so that um oh, please come closer so you can my viewers can see what we're drawing so a we're going to have eight here and three then we have nine and five it's from here eight and three nine and five remember what we're left with is hundred and three hundred then what we're left with here is two hundred and two hundred so if you add this up this gives us four hundred this gives us four hundred we should do our difference so we find the difference in the cut in the rows this is 8 minus 3, that gives us 5. 9 minus 5 will give us 4. Alright, how about here? We have 9 minus 8 gives us 1. And here gives us 5 minus 3 gives us 2. So which one is the um, focal, which is the focal row here? The focal here is five, being the highest of the differences. 
So maybe highest of the differences. So I haven't identified this rule, but between the two, which is the lower of the cost? This is the lower of the cost. So we are portion volume in here. And what we're going to apportion will be 100. We're going to apportion 100 in here so that this goes off, this becomes zero, and we're left with what? 100. We're left with 100. So here, we're left with 100. So we, we have eliminated um, row Y. We have eliminated row Y. So we're left with um, having, we're left with having A, C, and Z. We're left with having A, C, and Z. So column A, so we're going to have tableau, tableau 4 in this case, tableau 4. And tableau 4, we have A and C, and then we just have row, I mean row Z. So I'm going to have this like this. So that what we're going to have will be 9 and 5. That's 9 and 5. And then we're going to have our remaining volume here. Supply from 300. And this is 200. And this is what? Hundred, so this gives us three hundred here. So naturally, these are the only two left to fill this. These are the only two left. So I will just do fill in hundred here. This goes two hundred, and this goes in here to cancel this out. So we have successfully, we have successfully eliminated all the demand and supply, or satisfied all the demand and supply. So. What we will now do to find our basic feasible, please come closer, solution. Basic feasible solution is to, is to now um, go back to the, all the tables and pick where we have placed volumes. Where we have placed values or volumes into the cell. So from the initial one, look at it, we have X to A and we have 100. So that would be X to A will give us 100 times 5. Okay? Then we'll go to the next table, the table 2. Table 2, where did we place volume? We we'll place volume here. So that would be Y to B. And that would be Y to B. And that is a 200 times 4. Okay, the next one is table three. Table three, we place y to c. That'll be y to c, and that gives us um, hundred times three. Okay, the last table we place we had to do two at a time, so that the last table gives us a z to a. That gives us. 200 times 9 and then sorry let me place this here so this z to c z to c that gives us 100 times 5 okay now let's find the solution to this quickly so 100 times 5 gives us 500 um, 200 times 4 gives us 800 300 times 3 gives us 300 200 times 9 gives us 1800 and 500 times 5 gives us 500 all right so what we now do is to add up these values this will give us zero this will give us zero five plus three i mean five plus eight 13 13 plus three that's 16, 16 plus 8, 24, 24 plus 5, 29. You take 3 on the other side, 3 plus 1 gives us, um, I mean 2 on the other side, that's 29. So we have 3,900. 3,900. So the solution to this uh, question gives us this value of 3,900. I want you to try this 
um, question. Try it against using the Northwest Corner method and also try it against using the least cost method and find the difference in the answers you get. The question is what, which of these methods will you adopt as the manager of this firm if you're given the opportunity to take your decision? I look forward to hearing from you in the comment section of, our, of this video. Remember, if you have not yet subscribed to this video, please do subscribe, join the train and share this video with your friends. Leave a comment or two in the comment section and God bless you. Thank you.